Five, four, three, two, one. And as you can see, we are live. So deception, ladies and gentlemen, it's a weird thing. It may give us what we want to see for the present, but it will always take away things at the very end. It is not a shame to be deceived, but it is if you choose to stay de deceived. It is a sort of seduction, like in love and war or adultery or espionage. It can only succeed if the deceived party is willing in some way or form. The worst of all decep deceptions is self-deception. That is where perception comes in. People see what they want to see and they show what others want to see. So it has rarely any relation with reality. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. The clarity of perception makes reality look as it is. To effectively communicate, we must realize that we are all different in the way we perceive the world and use this understanding. So we need to understand that to communicate effectively with others. And here in English Olympiad, we know the importance of perception and deception. So with that in mind, we have organized our PPGT or our signature event, events, picture perception and deception test. Okay, so with let's begin with the introductory session of about our organization. English Olympiad is an international organization with the motto of inspiring leadership. We started our journey back in 2017 with almost 50,000 participants in our first ever Olymp English Olympiad for the country from different regions of the country. And this year we are stepping on our third season. Keep that in mind that this event is not our traditional Olympiad. This is a special online event, which is, by, to be precise, the biggest online event out there. We have created this event so that our students of this country practice and practice dialogue and improve their language skills. So with that in mind, let's introduce our participants for today's grand finale of PPDT. Let's have our first participant with us. So our first participant is Orpita Koshuti. Orpita, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I am Arpita Kuchwiti, uh, currently studying in Eden Mohila College on the first year accounting department. Thank you. That's great. Can we have our next participant with us? Hello, guys. My name is Sharia Nadim Shubro, and I'm studying in World. This is Sharia Nadim Shubro. Sharia, yeah. would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Sharia Najim Shubro and I'm studying in World University of Bangladesh in Civil Engineering Department and my hobby is singing, though I'm not a trainee singer. So that's all okay, about myself. Okay, that's great. We are delighted to have you, Sharia. Let's have our next participant with us. Our next participant is Salahuddin Akash. Would you like to introduce yourself, Salahuddin? Hello, uh, I am S.S. Salahuddin Akash from University of Dhaka. And uh, I'd like to join this episode. And so thanks to all. And my hobby is visiting. So we are, all, we are also delighted to have you with us, Sharia. Let's have our next participant with us. So we're having a technical difficulty. So let's introduce our honorable adjudicator, the beautiful Sakan Binte Imran. Hello, Fardin, and 
Hello, everybody. I hope all are having a good day so far. Uh, to give a bit of bio of me, I'm Sakan Binti Imran from Sar Salimullah Medical College. My initial schooling was from Bir Sashtanur Muhammad Rifle Public School College, then from Penigal Scat College, and now my present institution is Sar Salimullah Medical College. I always took delight uh, in participating to the extracurriculum activities because I always think that these extracurriculum part, uh, activities always shape, uh, shape you up. It always make you more convenient and more approachable to others, make your speeches and opinions more transparent. So those who take participate, uh, those who participate in those activities, I think it is very important for their self enhancement and self upliftment. So today, uh, the event is of PPDT, and it is uh, in here. I'm looking forward to having some creative thinking, how you mold your thinking into words more positively and more perfectly. Uh, so I guess we will have a, a fair fight here. I'm looking forward to the competition. Best of luck to all the contestants. Uh, yeah, that's all. Thank Certainly, you. we are looking forward to have a great show. We are delighted to have you. Uh, second with the Imran. So let's have our participants with us on screen. So we'll move on with our first round. So let me elaborate the rules of our first round. The name of the first round is identification. The participants will be show, shown a hazy picture and they have to identify the picture. They'll be given one minute in total. They can think and at first, they can think about the picture, and they will help. And, and after that, they will have to tell us what they think is in that hazy picture. Okay? Is there any question? Okay, let's have our first slide. So it's a choose the trick round. At first, I would like to request Orbita Kosh to pick a chit. Third one. Okay, the third one it is. Let's put Orbita Kosh's initials on the third chit. And then I would like to ask Shariar Nazim Shubro to pick a chit. I'll, I'll choose the first one. Okay, let's have Shariar's initials on the first one. And lastly, I would like to request SS Salahuddin Agas to pick a chat. Option is option second one. Okay, Shariar, Akash is choosing the second chat. Let's put Akash's initial on the second chat. Okay, so at first, let's have our first picture, shall we? So Sharia has gotten the third picture. Akash has gotten the uh, uh, second one. And lastly, Orpita Ghosh has gotten the third, uh, first one. No, uh, the fourth one. So can we have our first picture with us? I guess we are having some technical difficulties. Okay. We have our first slide. Identify the unclear is the name of the round. There is a picture. So at first I would like to request Arpita Ghoshriti to tell us what she thinks about this picture. Please identify what is in this hazy picture. Our educator will be listening to your opinion about this picture.
Oh, Peter, would you like to tell us your decision about this picture? Can you identify what is inside this picture? Okay, Orpita is thinking. Uh, yes, uh, Take your time. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Orpita is carefully looking at the picture so that she could tell us the right answer. The moment is very intense. Orbita is trying to decipher uh, the picture. I guess uh, this is a historical place. Probably. Um, Orbita, you don't have much time left. I would like to request you to keep, give your answer quickly. Uh, maybe it is a place and here is a guy, or uh, a person. That's it. Okay. okay. So our honorable uh, adjudicator yeah. has gotten that answer, I guess. So, uh, I have a question. Can I? Uh, okay. Hello. Okay. Orbita has questions. Here, what Orbita has has to say. Uh, can I guess two or three logic, or I or I have to say one? No, you, you have to you have to say one thing, and our next participant will say another logic about this picture. Okay, okay. picture. So your answer okay. is recorded. Let's have our next participant with us. Sorry? Sorry? Studio host, can we have our next participant with us? So our next participant is Eze Salaud Akash. So Akash will have to describe what he thinks that is in this picture. He will have almost approx approximately 30 seconds to think about it and 30 seconds to answer uh, what he has thought about it. Now, Akash, you have your time. Please note your logic cannot be just the same as Orbita. You have to give a different logic. Akash is carefully thinking about the picture. I think uh, he's, he's trying to. I think uh, this picture is uh, showing a man in front of a okay. hill or in front of a hill, and uh, he is preparing to make a skydive on the hill. Uh, that's something. Okay, Akash is saying a man doing something. Uh, our adjudicator is noting down Akash's point. So I think we can have our next participant with us. Our next participant is Shayar Nazin Shubro. Shubro will be with so, us in a few moments. So I guess it's a girl you know, on a boat, and Shubro. there is a there is a hill behind that picture, I guess. And the girl is on a boat, and the boat is floating, and there is a hill behind that girl. And the okay, girl is that your final answer? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Shubro has given his final answer. Let's have our fourth participant, Tanjina Katon. Tanjina, you have one minute to think about this picture, hazy picture. You have to approximately 30 seconds to think about it and one minute to say, state your opinion on what this picture is. So please note your uh, logic and identification has to be different from our first three participants. Okay, your time starts now. Okay. 
uh, the picture shows that um, Tanjina is carefully man. thinking about the picture. Okay, there's a man. Can you follow that up with some more details? I cannot understand. Okay, that's our segment here. It's a hazy picture. You have to give us an answer on what you think the, that picture okay, states. Okay, I got it. I got it. But I guess that uh, here is a, as a guy. Uh, maybe he is uh, upset about something. Okay. Uh, sitting on... Um, You have 20 seconds remaining to give your answer. He's sitting on the something. Okay, your time is up. So Tanjina's answer is there is a guy sitting on something. He is sad. So can we move on to our next round? I hope so. Can I ask our adjudicator on what she thinks about our first round and how our participants are doing? Creative thinking and how you perceive things and put them into words. So yeah, as it is the picture, they can think of, uh, think about what they think. And now it's, I guess, the time that they counter their logics uh, about what they saw in that hazy picture. Yeah, that's all. OK, so our adjudicator has noted their points and identification points. Now, our next segment is statements on identification. In some participants will showing up their logics on the explanation given by them in the first round. So at first, I would like to ask Orpita Ghosh to state her logic on her identification of this picture, picture that she has given in the first round. You have approximately 150 seconds. Your time starts now. I can't hear. Uh, Orbita, we I can't hear you properly. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I forgot to on my mic. Anyway, uh, thank you. So as I said, uh, I guess this is a historical place, and probably here is a person or something. And, and now I guess uh, here's uh, more than one faces. Uh, because okay. if uh, we watch okay. there, like, um, I guess it's right of my uh, this picture here is a shape uh, which uh, almost like a face and okay. uh, again uh, there's something like uh, face related something uh, and i guess it's a hill uh, maybe so uh, as we know uh, actually i um, i forgot that uh, is there is a hill which has uh, like three or four uh, uh, I can't like, say like um. Sorry, I'm taking some time. You have approximately uh, 30, uh, 75 uh, seconds. Okay. Um, some famous person's face uh was made on a hill. Uh, something like that. So um, probably it can be this one. Um. That's it. Uh, I can't get more. Thank you. Okay, the clock is ticking. Would you like to finish your answer there? Yes. Yes. So Orbita has stated her logics, and she has finished saying her answer with 42 seconds left on the clock. Up next, we're going to have Akash with us. Can you have SS Salauddin Akash with us?
on screen. Akash, you have approximately 150 seconds to state your logics on the identification that you made in the first round. Your time starts now. Hello, I actually I said uh, before a man is doing something. Um, I think uh, it's a man, and I can see uh, a man have two hands and uh, he is semi sitting in a place. I say, and uh, I have also recognized that this place is also a hill tract. I think and hill tract, and this man can be a soldier. And uh, um, it, I think he is also doing something. And uh, now I have um, thinking she, uh, he is uh, uh, in a, um, um, doing a war or uh, engaging in a war. Actually, I think it's a hilly place and uh, a man is sitting and uh, he is engaging in a war or doing war. And uh, that's it. Okay. Would you like to finish there? Uh, yeah, I like to finish there because uh, I uh, something is showing on me. Uh, hill, uh, something is showing on me. The background is uh, looks like a uh, hill three point. So that's it. I have nothing to say yet. Okay. So Akash would like to finish his logical explanation with seventy five seconds on the clock. Let's have our third participants with us. Hello. So, can I start? So, our next participant is Sharyar, uh, Sharyar Nazim Shubro. Sharyar, you have approximately 150 seconds. Your time starts now. So, as I said before, there's a girl um, on a boat, I guess. So. I can see her hair, their curvy hair. I mean, there's there's a hair and there's a heel behind her, so I can see that clearly. I mean, the picture is hazy, but I can see that. Uh, so I would say that there's a girl on a boat and there's a heel behind her. So, yeah, that's my final opinion. Okay, you have stated all of your logics. Yeah. Okay, so Shubro is confident. And with that, with 116 seconds left on the clock, he has finished his answer. Let's have our fourth participant with us, Tanjina Katon. Yeah. Tanjina, you have 150 seconds on the clock. You have to state logics on your ex identification that you made on the first round. Your time starts now. Okay, the, um, here the picture shows that um, here is a human figure and uh, here is a human figure. He is sitting on something because uh, th this shape shows me about that. that uh, he And uh, I think he covered his face. Tanjina, it would be better if you turn on your camera. It would be very helpful for our audience to see you. Um, maybe it is nature problem. So Tanjina is having some technical issues. We can hear you. Please continue stating your logics. Uh, uh, here is a uh, human figure, um, and then he is sitting on something. So it is a he. Please continue. Um, Tajina is having some technical issues. Let's be patient. I think I should be finished. I think I should finish. Okay, Tanjina has finished stating her logics for her identification. So I think we are done with our fourth, part, fourth and final participants. And 
I would like our honorable educator to tell us what she thinks about a participant's logics for the second round. Yeah, well, the logics were quite interesting. Uh, uh, though they are uh, okay. quite different from each other. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to what is coming on next. Yes, let's proceed. And that's the, that's the magic of perception. Everyone has their own perspective and our participants sure do. And they have stated their perception and stated the logics for that. So I think we can move on to our next round. Can we, can we have the slide for our next round? So we are having some technical issues. Let's go through some of our comments from our comment section. So FRIN is saying, very nice. Radia Nasson Ohona is saying, woohoo. Ifas Kain Rodro is saying, keep going. Oindrila Choudhury is saying, wow. Nafisa Nora is saying, wow. Tahia Janat is saying, keep it up. Farzana Faria is saying, superb. Mabudul Hassan Mashur is saying, keep it up. And Oindrila Choudhury is saying, I'm excited for the next round. Sanjita Kabir is saying, Arpita Apo, you did well. Deb Jyoti Dash is saying, bring it on. Nasruddha Al Jadid is saying, amazing. Sarah Maryam is saying, don't panic. Irfa Sharia Rudro is saying, don't panic. Farsha Faria is saying, they're doing well. So I think we, are, we can move on with our next round. Our third round is. In this round, our participants will have to run for one stand. So they will debate each other. I hope they have noted each other's points. They'll have to debate each other and rant about their own stand. So let's, can we have Arpita Ghosh with us on screen? Okay, so let's have Sharia Nazir Shubro with us on screen. Okay, we have Salahuddin Akash with us. Akash, you have to tell us why the other participants have stated the wrong logic and their identification is wrong. You have the clock ticking, there's a timer. So the time starts for you now. Yeah, first of all, or Peter Kush, I think, uh, I think thinking him respectfully. It's the place, it's a hill place, but uh, he didn't recognize a man before the hill. I think it's the wrong point for her. Okay, and uh, the third participant is Shubra. Uh, he said uh, uh, a girl is uh, a girl in the in in a boat. I think there is no boat um, in the place. I am not seeing any is any boat in the place. And uh, the picture is show, showing it's the it's the male figure, not the female figure. So the girl uh, identification is not uh, good or it's not right. And uh, the third one, Onima. Onima is say, uh, this uh, as a picture is show a man in the sitting. And uh, I think it, this picture is also, uh, this picture also proves uh, yeah, Amin doesn't uh, just sitting, he is also doing something. And uh, he, didn't, the, he didn't explain the around play, around situation. And uh, so I think uh, they, have, uh, they have not, actual correct the answer and the student identified the picture properly. Okay. So would you like to add more to those points? You have plenty of time on the clock. And uh, no one. And I think uh, this, uh, they, they are they, they're explaining good, but their explanation is not enough to uh, enough to uh, to prove uh, their thought. Okay, and uh, they have their own lackings uh, to prove their uh, thought. The picture is also showing many things, but they didn't recognize it. 
Okay, so deception is a very interesting thing. Our participant, Akash, thinks that our other three participants are totally wrong and they have stated the wrong logics. So let's see if he's right or wrong. Let's move on with our next participant. Can we have Arpita, Dash with, oh, Arpita Ghost with us on screen? So internet connection hasn't been that merciful with our participants today. Arpita will join us. Okay, we have Shubro with us. Shubro, yeah. our third round is about ranting out your own stand. You have to tell us why you think that the other participants are wrong and their logics are not that much strong. And you have to tell us why you think that your logic is the only logic that's right. So you have three minutes. Your time starts now. So I can easily say that so, there is a curl cause her hair is curvy something. So not that curvy, but I can see her hair. So nobody's saying that she's a girl or something. Someone telling is that she's a man or upset or something. I can I can't see anything upset there. So I will definitely say there is a girl and there is a hill behind her. So there is a triangle type. So I can say there is a hill and nobody's saying that there is a hill behind her or something. And yeah, she's sitting on something. Uh, there is a boat, I guess. And everybody's saying that uh, there's a man. So I would definitely say she's a girl. So my opinion is she's a girl. And yeah, that's the final answer. And yeah, there's a girl. And my opinion is I'm totally sure about this. So, so I'll Shubro stick with is confident. Shubro is confident about his identification and his logics that he stated. Uh, Shubro, would you like to tell us why, specifically tell us why each and every other, each of those other participants are wrong? Yeah, for, first of all, uh, nobody mentioned that uh, she's a, uh, there is a girl, uh, everyone's saying that there's a human or a human or something or there's a man. So first of all, they, they're wrong because I can see there is a girl and I can clearly see, see that. So first of all, there is all wrong. And I'm stick with my answer because she's a girl. So yeah, I'm confident enough to say that. So Shubro is exuberating with confidence. So he thinks that the other three participants are totally wrong, and his logics are the um, are right, totally right. So I think we can move on with our next participant. Inter interesting things about perspective that we are learning today. So we are having some technical issues. Let's go through the comment section and see what our audience have to say about this picture. So to our audience, if you want to tell us what you think about that picture, you can, all, you can comment about it in, in our comment section. Let's see what our audience has to say about the picture. Samia Ajat has said that the hazy picture seems very interesting. Mezavin Kanis is saying that it's a girl. Yes, Shubro has stated that logic. Shabab Junaid is saying, I think Shubro is right. Okay. Mawadul Hassan Mashur is saying, very interesting segments. Uh, MM Abir Rahman is saying, great job. Zara Ahmed is saying, you did fantastic. Yes, our participants are doing very well. Saraf Nawar is saying, good going, bhaiya. Um, Farzana Faria is saying, well done, guys. Safwan Sporsho is saying, best of luck, guys. Yamin Arafat Aman is saying, you guys are so confident. Tahiya Jannat is saying, was an exciting session. Yes, our this session is very exciting. We have our beautiful adjudicator with us and our participants are competing to see who has the best perception over the hazy picture. If Iftar Rahman is saying they, they are all good at stating logics. Abdayal Muid is saying they are doing great and the session is on fire. Yes, it's on fire. And Sanjida Hassan Tanbir is saying interesting explanation. Oindrila Choudhury is saying all the best. I think we... 
we are we have our next participant with us. Our next participant is Orpita Ghosh. Orpita Ghosh, in our third round, you have to rant about your own logic. You have to tell us why the other three participants mm -hmm. are wrong. And you have to pick falls in the logic. So Orpita Ghosh, you have three minutes. Your time starts now. Okay, uh, as I said, there is a hill and um, I say that uh, it's a historical place. So I'll go for it. And why I think so? Because um, I think that uh, here is a face I can see and I, or else I can imagine. So that's it. Like, uh, we know there are the uh, mountain which has uh, some, uh, which has four faces uh, of famous person. So, and I can see here uh, in the in my left, sorry, left or right side, uh, face uh, something like a face. So therefore, I say this. And again, uh, if I have to uh, prove their logic wrong, then I would like to say that um, they say there is a person, uh, maybe uh, she or he was uh, roaming or uh, like. Uh, here was for the nature or something else. And yes, uh, they, uh, one of them said uh, behind her is a hill. Uh, they said it's a hill. So, but still, uh, what I say that I still say. Uh, so, I guess my point is a logical point because uh, we have a we know that uh, a historical place is there. We have space on its body or whatever so uh, so um i would say that yes, my point is uh maybe correct and that's it i couldn't find more so apita is is Hello, can not you hear me? confident but she she is confident that the I, other I, i'm have having a really bad net issues so i can't concentrate. Give me sorry for this. Okay, we have we have heard your your logics and your rants about your logics. So I think we can move on to our, our next participant. So I'd like to ask our honorable adjudicator to tell us how the session is going. Well, the session is quite interesting, I will say, because how creative they are in their thinking, it's, it really reflects. Because from a hazy picture, what you foresee, you always try to revolve around that and try to uh, make things out of that and put them into words. And I guess they are doing so, but it's always a competition about how close you are to the actual picture and how your creative thinking is revolving around it. So there is a lot of things to come in consideration. Yeah, I'm having fun listening to them. But yet, I also have to make a tough decision while I will judge them. So we have a tough decision ahead of us. The human mind is a very complex, complex thing indeed. All of our participants are having contradictory thoughts about that hazy picture. And they have stated those thoughts. So let's go through our comments and let's see what our audience have to say about that picture. Rabiul Islam Masum is saying Orpita Ghost did well. Miftal Zanat is saying Orpita Apu is so cute. Yes, we have our participants are wonderful. Uh, Sumaya Akhtar is saying everyone were fairly good. Tahia Jannat is saying totally enjoying it. Mahi Mariam saying great. Uh, I'm going to request our audience to comment about their thoughts about the, about the hazy picture. I would like to read their thoughts about the hazy picture. So in the meantime, let's read some of some more comments. Rano, Ranuma Tabassum is saying, I'm having a great time. We are delighted to hear that. Tanjimul Ali is saying, host has a beautiful accent. Thank you, Tanjimul. Dipto Mirza is saying, great. Rehenuma Tabassum is saying, Arpita Ghosh did well. And Tahiyat Ranum Abuni is saying, all the best. Maisha Maliha uh, Proma is saying, maybe that's an elephant. 
Um, that might be an elephant. We still don't know. Our participants have contradictory thoughts. Our audience also have contradictory thoughts. So I think our next participant is having some technical issues. So I think we can move on to our next round. Can we have our next visual with the, in front of us? So in the meantime, let's read some more comments. Dom is saying Fadim Bhai is doing great. OK. Then Menu Matasin is saying, come on. Tanzimon Alam is saying, oh. So I think we, we can finally show the actual picture. So after three competitive rounds, let's see the actual picture. OK, it's a picture of a bison with a person holding spear. There are three people fighting uh, mammoths, and they have spears on their hands. It's a prehistoric um, image where a, bison, uh, where a mammoth is trying to defend its family. We, ha we have two other mammoths in the back. And there are mountains with there are mountains blue sky, and there are green trees, and there are I can see forests. So that was a very difficult three rounds. Our participants our participants have confused the mammoth as a human or a human structure, or a girl sitting on a boat. So that was fun. So I'd like to request our educator to tell us her thoughts about the picture and how much on track was our participants with. Uh, so as we can see the picture, we can see that uh, Mammon is trying to uh, save uh, his family and fighting along with three men. Well, he, he is already hot, though uh, the uh, here's the picture is just um, a platform where there is nowhere. You have to go somewhere, perceiving something and giving a conclusion to it. So I will not judge on that basis that you have to be uh, actually perfect while describing or explaining or ranting your opinions. But yes, uh, some of you have uh, gone really uh, near to that. Like uh, some, uh, some one of you have mentioned that it's like a war. Yeah, it's the war. It's the war between a man and a uh, man, isn't it? Uh, so some of you have depicted other things. Uh, so I will not just let it away because a uh, everyone has a right of thinking and creative thinking is what is most appreciated here. So yeah. But my thinking about this picture, while it was hazy one, was also not very much different from you. Uh, if I were in your place, I would have said uh, something very unusual from the picture. But the actual picture actually uh, clears the wrong perception we have. Though the perception isn't wrong, it is unique. Everyone has unique perception, and I respect that. Yeah, that's it. So everyone has their own unique and complex perception. The picture showed the cruelty of mankind, and it's funny how a mammoth can become a beautiful lady on a boat. So let's move on with our fourth round. Our fourth round is spot the difference. Can we have our next visual? So in this round, the participants will be shown two similar similar pictures on one single uh, uh, with one single difference. They have to identify it. So. I will have each of our participants one by one on screen and have to, they have to tell us what's that one difference of those, both, of those two pictures. So at first I would like to request uh, Arpita Ghostwriti to be on screen with us. Spot five differences. Okay, so Arpita has to differentiate two pictures and tell us five different uh, five differences that she thinks are there. So we have our two pictures with us, Arpita. Are you there? 
Or Pita, if you're there, you have to tell us the difference between the two pictures. I guess Orpita is having some technical issues. Let's be patient. In the meantime, I would like to request our audience to tell us what are the differences in the comment section below. I'll read them out later on. So we have SS Salauddin Akash with us. So Akash, you have to tell us five differences from the, the, these two pictures, okay? The time starts now. I think there is a right side and in the in the in the right side picture a man is uh, standing in the right side uh, and uh, in the left picture there is no man standing in the right side okay um, we have one difference between the two pictures can you see the differences i think in the in the left and uh, in the, in the left and upper side uh, in the left picture, a uh, shop name is uh, there. There is a name of shop, uh, but uh, in the right, right picture, um, uh, there is no name of a shop in the upper side. Okay, yeah. so Akash has two differences. They did do two differences. Can you tell us three more differences between the two pictures? We'll let Akash think for a moment. Akash is trying to decipher the two pictures and find the differences. Akash is trying to see. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think. I think. I think another. Uh, I think I. I have find another and uh, in the accelerator, uh, left behind the accelerator. Left side of the accelerator, the billboard is not the same. Okay, so Akash has stated another difference. So Akash, can you state your four difference of the, these two pictures? Right, uh, right side picture has a sticker. It's a different, I don't think so. Akash is trying to focus. Take your time. You have approximately 20 seconds remaining to, rem to tell us the two difference that you see in this remaining two difference that you see in this picture. Yeah, I have found another yeah, uh, and in the okay. in the in the left picture in left side uh, there is a, a tree also, but uh, be, uh, beside the door. And but in the right side in the right side picture there is no tree behind the door. In the left side of the picture. Okay, so can you tell us the last difference that you see in both of these pictures? So your time is up. So you did an absolutely wonderful job, Akash. Let's move on to our next participant. So here are the differences. Smart. So I would like our educator to tell us about the differences in both of these pictures. We are much in red color. Okay, to start from the beginning at the right okay, side of the, uh, the right yeah. picture, the uh, from the uh, right side of the equator, there is one man standing, but in the next picture, the man is not standing there. 
and to start from the upper section uh, uh, the bill yeah he mentioned about the shop name but actually i can here see uh, yeah for me and that is there is a tree there is not a tree in the uh, picture side by uh, the billboard just uh, below uh, just below and behind the accelerator the, uh, the billboards are different and just beneath the accelerator there is a map type something in the first picture which is absent in the second picture uh, then in the upper section uh, the uh, red uh, square thing i guess uh, just beneath that the just be that uh, there is a name but there is no name in the right uh, the picture the right side he also mentioned that and uh, uh, much more i guess just in the off front here where there is four people standing there is a rose in someone's hand but it is absent in the next picture have i got all all of them okay uh, I so i so. see i got just got some of those differences right so let's have our next participant with us. Spot five differences. We'll have a new set of two pictures. So Arpita Ghosh is with us. Arpita, you'll be given two pictures and you have to tell us what are the differences. You have approximately 150 seconds. Your time starts in a few moments now. Arpita is having some technical issues, but the clock is ticking. So we have the clock back on first line. So we have Sharia Hussein Shu Sharia Nasim Shubro with us. Sharia, you have two pictures on screen. You have to tell us the difference. You have to tell us at least five differences from those these two pictures. You have approximately 150 seconds. Your time yeah. starts now. So first one, the uh, green jacket, the eyes of that girl is first picture. There is, uh, uh, she, she's trading at the car, but in the second picture, she's trading at something outside. So that was the first one. The eyes, host. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So ice and second one is uh, there's uh, in the car the, uh, in the right side uh, right seat there is a something on brown color and but the second picture is there's nothing like this uh, yeah uh, right yeah 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 and okay uh, you have stated two differences yeah mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a uh, yeah in the uh, in the front. Yeah, I mean front mirror. There is a front mirror in the uh, left peak, but there is nothing on the right peak. Uh, inside, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, yes, and there, there three different. And the, and the fourth one is the uh, the left door on the card. There is a something like hook or something, but uh, in the second picture there is nothing like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is uh, there is a house behind that car, and there is a window, but in the right picture, there is no window. Okay. So Shubra got his fifth and final difference stated. Can we have the differences marked in red circles in front of us? Okay, there are many differences in the, in, the, in the two pictures. I would like our adjudicator to elaborate all the differences in these two pictures. Okay, to start from the beginning, at first, uh, let's look from the back. Uh, just uh, beside the tree, we can see that in the first picture, there is only, uh, three windows, but in the second picture, there is two. And in case of the first picture, in case of the windows, the third window uh, has some uh, feeling like something like that, but it is absent in the second one. And at last, there is something hanging from here, but which is also absent in the second one. Then uh, just... 
Beside the fencing or the steel, there is a plant there, which is absent in the second one. Then to concentrate uh, in front, like at the car section, uh, just to start from the very beginning, there is a hook in front uh, in front uh, of the car. Of the first picture, which is absent in the second picture, just behind that, there is something like an item uh, there in the car, which is also absent in the second picture. The sleeves of the boy having a red T-shirt uh, is green in the first picture, which is uh, pink in the second and then the mailbox, it is having a handle in the first picture, not having a handle in second. And uh, then there is an, oh, what is this? Let me see. I guess the women, uh, I guess the boy just sitting there uh, having a navy blue t shirt. Just be beside him, there is an item there, but which is also absent in the second one. Yeah, I guess that's all. So we have our third participant, Arpita Ghosh, with us. Arpita, you will be, Arpita, you will be given two pictures, and you have to state five, at least five differences. Okay, Arpita is having some technical issues. Internet is that much kind to our participants today. Let's be patient and give them some time. In the meantime, I will request our audience to tell us how many differences they can find in these two pictures. So, Orbita, you have 150 seconds. You have to state five differences. So, your time starts now. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can hear you. Yes, we, we can, can hear start. you. Hello. Yes, Arpita, we can hear you. The clock is ticking. You have 130 seconds approximately. I guess she is having technical issues. So I guess Arpita is having some technical issues. The clock is back on the starting position. I think we should read some comments and let's see what our audience have to say about this. these two pictures. Notion Noel Khan is saying, come on, Arpita. Yes, Arpita will be will join us in a few moments. Meza Bin Khanis is saying, if they are Roman, I, okay. Uh, Menua Tassin is saying, fantastic, guys, come on. Ishak is saying it's so confusing. Yes, these pictures, hazy pictures, can be confusing indeed. Abra Rafi is saying a dog in the pool. So Abra thinks that that mammoth is a dog in a pool. He he was also deceived by the hazy hazy picture like our participants. I think most of us got deceived by those hazy pictures. If they are Roman is saying, uh, yes, I cannot disagree with them. Okay, we have. Arpita with us. Arpita, you'll be given two pictures. You have to say five differences. Your time starts okay. now. Uh, oh, nice. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Hello. We can hear you, Arpita. Okay. Uh, first thing. Uh, first thing is, hello. Yes, Arpita, we can hear you. Arpita is confused. Arpita is thinking about. Arpita is looking for differences in those these two pictures. Mm -hmm. 
So we have lost. Okay, uh, first okay. thing I okay. can find on uh, on this first picture uh, on the corner side of. Okay, Arpita has taken one difference. Four to go. Technology isn't that much kind towards our participants. That is certainly true. So the clock is taking, or I has stated one difference. So let's see if I can spot any difference. These are so tough. So actors at the top left corner, let's see if I can find anything. So, okay. These are so tough, man. Okay, I, I found one. In the pool, there is a, there is a barricade in the in the left in the, in the left image in the pool there is a barricade for a plant that has red color in it. Can you mark it, studio host? Okay, there's one diff that that's one difference, and okay, there's a broom in the left picture, but in the right picture there isn't one. I've got. I've got, uh, I think, okay, I lost. Very hard questions indeed. I wonder how our first two participants got it right. Okay, I'll be back with us. Can we have our two pictures again? With the timer on. Okay, there's a new picture for Orbita. Orbita, please tell us the differences. In these two okay. pictures. Okay. Um. First of all, uh, I, on the first I scene, uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So uh, on the first picture, uh, for a right corner, uh, there uh, on. On the first picture, on uh, their right corner, there's no yellow mark. But on the second picture, there's a yellow mark uh, showing no now or something. And secondly, um, uh, so Orbita has stated two differences. She is trying okay. to decipher. Uh, on the first picture, on the hello, on the first picture. Yes, Okay, uh, on the first picture, uh, on the ceiling, there was a uh, like light or something. Uh, which color is uh, light uh, ash? But uh, on the second picture, that, that's kind of black. Um, third is. You have 67 seconds left. Can't see the picture. Or did I stated two different steps. Or did I trying to depict the two pictures? And Malaysia's internet connection is having some fun. Okay, I think we can go through our comment section and read some comments in the meantime. The clock is ticking, but Orbita is still isn't there. So Tanjim Bintan is saying there's a photo stand kind of thing on the table. Right side, there is nothing like that. Okay, we'll see that. Okay, Arpita, you have three seconds and your time is up. Okay, can we have the right answers, the differences between the two pictures? Shabab Junaid is saying there's a clock in the first picture which is absent in the second picture. Tahia Atarnu Abuni is saying there's a sticker in the first picture, but there isn't the sticker in the second picture. Uh, 
So we have uh, the differences with us. So I would like to request our educators to elaborate the differences. Okay, to start with the pictures. Uh, at first, to start from the upper section, there is an uh, light that is gray in color, which is uh, nearly green in color in the second picture. Then in the side walls, there is uh, another light, which is white in color, which is absent in the second picture. Just beneath that light, there is a person behind the door, which is absent in the second picture. And side by that, there is a clock, which is absent in the second picture. Then to come in the front, in the table, there is a photo frame in the first picture, which is absent in the second picture. Then there are some documents side by or from the center, which is also absent in the second picture. In the jingle board, in the second, li in the second line, at the left side, there is some jingles missing. Then from the piano, there is only two, there are two stand in the first picture, but only one stand in the second picture. Uh, then at the behind, uh, at uh, just far behind in the bookshelf, uh, uh, bookshelf left corner, there is uh, much. There is much more things than in the uh, picture in the second in the second picture. And at first, the bookshelf of the furthermost side, that is of the right side, uh, uh, there is uh, there is uh, a board or something like that, which is also missing in the second picture. I'm done. Okay, our adjudicator has found all the differences. So these are very hard rounds and we have finally, we have our results with us. Okay, our adjudicator is calculating. We'll have the results very soon. So in the meantime, let's go through the comment section and let's see what our our participants have to say, our audience has to say. So Abra Rafi is saying so much differences. Yes, there are many differences. Tahia Jannat is saying this was very interesting. Yes, PPTT is an interesting and very tough contest. Salman Niyazrumi is saying it was tough. Ume Tasmiya Sanjo is saying well done. Iftegar Rahman is saying really good job, everyone. Yes, our participants did a very good job. Some of them were having some technical issues, but they overcame. Over, they were able to overcome those problems. Saida Shamanta is saying, "Good job, guys." Shakrabi is saying, "This was very, very fantastic." Abde Chodo is saying, "Good job." Zakaria Niloy is saying, "Great going." Salman and Rumi did. The host did great too. Thank you, Salman. Okay, so I would request our, I would ask our adjudicator if the result is ready or not. No, I'm quite not ready with the results. I would okay, so I think, we, I, I, think, I, I think we should read some more comments in the meantime. So Marzia Bintan is now saying everyone did so great. Yes, they did. Um, if they're saying good job, everyone, Radia Nasrana is saying it was very tough, but you guys did fantastic. I must praise your talents. Yes, they are praiseworthy. Renuma Tabasum is saying this live was very interesting. Yes, the session was a unique one. Uh, Tahia Janat is saying waiting for the results. Yes, we are also eager to see who will be the champion. Abde Chodri is saying eagerly waiting for the results. Saki Bakas is saying results is confusing. Yes, it's a very tough contest between our participants, but we can trust our educator to find the best person. Shabab Junaid is saying find the differences between their performances. I bet you can't. Yes, our participants did a wonderful job today. Faida Farbin Dolly is saying it was hard. Yes, it was hard indeed. So my actor is saying we want the results. Waiting, yes, I am also waiting eagerly for the results. Asha is saying they all did so great. Lehanuma Tabasum is saying my name. Yes, I did. I mention your name. That's great. So my actor is saying everyone did so great. Ad Adiba Taiwa is saying can't wait for the results. Mr. Janat is saying can't wait no more. We'll have our results in no time. Rafia Nusana is saying, can wait. Menuma Tassin saying, great job. Shabab Junai is saying, I don't want this segment to end. Yes, we want. So you can join us in our next two rounds. We'll have group 
group three and group four with us in the afternoon. We have we'll have the grand finale for group three and group four. So our educator is patiently calculating the scores. So let's read some more comments in the meantime. It was a great battle. Yes, it was. Adi Bataiba is saying, good luck for the results. Sumaya Akhtar is saying, that was an interesting segment. Tanzim Bintanawaz is saying, amazed by their performance. Ishak Farabi is saying, tough comp competition. Yes, it was tough indeed. MM Abidur Rahman is saying, you can do it. Saraf Nawar is saying, results, results, results. Yes, the results will be with us in very in a few moments. Uh, Ikram Olislamomi is saying, loving it. Thank you, Ikram. We are also delighted to hear that. Menuma uh, Tasin is saying, best of luck, guys. Mezabik Kanis is saying, that was very amazing. Renuma Tabasumi is saying, congrats in advance to the winners. Okay, we'll have our results in a few moments. Samanyaz is saying, don't panic, Apu. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for the advice, Salman. Um, Shabab Junaid is saying, how did the organizers come up with this, this type of questions and pictures? Yes, we have our great organizing team. They work tirelessly to organize this great segment. Zara Ahmed is saying, it was a fantastic show. Enjoyed it to the last moment. Yes, we are delighted to hear that. Miftal Janat is saying everyone wins. Yes, our champions, everyone is champion. We'll have our top participant with us, uh, top participant in a few moments. Ifa Sharia Rudra is saying really good. Abde Chaudhary is saying amazing show. So Mezabin Kanez is saying undoubtedly English Olympiad has the best organizing team. Thank you, Mezabin Kanez. Renuma Tawasum is saying my name's pronunciation. Oh, my apologies. Did I get that wrong? So I think we have our results with us. They're quite point charts. So Akash has gotten 26.5 points. Arpita has gotten 19.5 points. Shubro has gotten 19 points. So we can see that Akash is our champion. Arpita is our first runner up. Can we, congratulations to Akash and Arpita. Can we have Akash and Arpita on screen with us? Ishrak Fabi is saying, Fardin, you're doing great. Thank you, Ishrak. Menu Atasin is saying, great, yay. Uh, Sumaya Akhtar is saying, congratulations, guys. Yes, congratulations to our participants. So I think our champions are having some technical issues. So I would like to request our adjudicators to tell us about the segment, how it all uh, went down. Well, TPDT uh, uh, is actually a very confusing event. Uh, uh, and it requires a lot of brainstorming, I guess, because out of a hazy picture where nothing logical comes out of mind, isn't it? When you look at a hazy picture, you think, what is this? Then to come out with logic and establishing that, it's a huge task itself. So those who have given the, their best effort while establishing their logics and were able to get closer to the context and did, uh, I guess the judgment is based on that criteria, criterion. But other than that, uh, creative thinking or trying to say anything uh, in favor of your uh, words, it's always a great thing. It actually uh, proves that how confident you are regarding your own speeches, your opinions, and how transparent you are about your thoughts. Like, uh, if you identify something and you are trying to prove that, right, like, sometimes hazy picture can be confusing too. You can just identify uh, what, what is not even possible. But if you could 
um, prove that thing if you could counter the logics of other and keep your logic uh, st stand by then i guess uh, that one come as winner but still your logics need to be more logical isn't it uh, to get to so the other corner akash of the side arpita, so akash akash and arpita had the best logics among our four participants and that is why akash and arpita are the champions it's, it's, it was a very tricky segment indeed. The human mind is very complex and it tries to decipher many things at once and it shows perspective on based on their thinking and we got to see that. We saw participants saying that a mammoth looks like a girl on a boat, which was ironically very funny. I found it funny and some participants thought that mammoth had a humanoid shape which was also sarcastic at the same time. But this shows that how much the importance of perspective and how we, uh, how we compare it, okay? So different people have different perspectives and different perceptions, and we've seen it today. So with that note, I would like to finish our show. I would like to thank our audience for being with us. I would like to thank our honorable adjudicator for an outstanding job on selecting a champion. I would like to congratulate our champions, Orpita and Akash. And with that in mind, I would like I'm going by Fardin. I would like to finish the show. Thank you, everyone.